One of the things that uh, that we've got here, Stephen's got, is a is a cigar, some cigar news that is is something that you're only going to be able to find in brick and mortars. Absolutely, yes. This is the People's Champ from Punch. This is a new release that is only available in your brick and mortar. So, mm -hmm. get to your B and M's, see if they're carrying it. If not, maybe ask them to get a couple boxes in. Yeah. Wonderful new cigar from Punchline, um, Punch Brotherhood group uh, releasing this new one uh, the manager John Hakayam we asked and they told so this is a cigar built on input from you the smokers wow. as to how they crafted it so again that kind of response is great to hear yeah not just a blender imagining something but getting that response and feedback from the end user consumer Always. So what's the blend? Do they? What's the blend on this? Uh, let me see. Did it crafted in Honduras? Wow. There we go. Five country blend, uh, Habano wrapper, from the Talangia Valley, with a Mexican San Andreas binder and filler from the Dominican Republic, Brazilian and Nicaraguan, hmm. in that filler, medium body experience, hint of sweetness. Okay, I like that. It might pair well with this. Uh, little notes of nuts and leather in a white pepper finish. Cool. And is this the only size? Uh, I think they've got three sizes. I'm looking for details. Oh, nope. That yep. is. That's that is the, the only size. That's the only size. Wow. Five so, by that, so the People's Choice said this was the size they liked the most. And we're seeing that a lot as retailers. People liking a slightly shorter cigar. Interesting. Interesting. Something they can enjoy quick. All right. So punches People's Choice. Uh, Champ. People's champ, not choice, but they, they they chose it to be the champ. Yep. All right. All right. All right. So, more in the news. Uh, this is uh, I love these guys. Uh, Cavalier Genevieve uh, cigars. Uh, oh, Sebastian. Uh, he's got his inner circle. And uh, as we're shooting this right now, we're, I think it's day two of the PCA in Vegas. And it says here at the uh, 2022 Premium Cigar Association Trade Show in Vegas, Cavalier Genevieve. Cigars will announce it is adding a new brand to its portfolio known as Inner Circle. I heard him talk a little bit about this. I, I didn't really fully find out, but we're going to find out here. It says in a press release, uh, Cavalier Genevieve says, Inner Circle is a new stage in the company's history that will, for the first time, showcase a second new brand into the portfolio. Inner Circle is a doorway into Cavalier's world. Interesting. Smoke and gold, baby. Yep. Yeah. It is meant to commemorate and share the philosophy of the company, be an homage to the year-old factory founded by Cavalier in January of 2021. Fabrica Centroamericana de Tabaco. Okay. And uh, create an emphasis on creativity and playground for new tobaccos for Cavalier Genevieve. As for the blend, it consists of a Habano wrapper and binder in Pennsylvania, Piloto Cubano, Broadleaf, and Habano fillers. The cigars are being launched in four sizes. Petit Robusto, Robusto, Grande, Toro, and Figurado, each in a 24-count cabinet box. Prices will range from $12.80 to $14.30 a cigar. I love Inner Circle, so that's some very cool news. Yep. What else you got, Stephen? Uh... We've got an announcement mm. that affects everybody who smokes. Yeah, this yeah, this, this is this is big stuff, people. Big stuff, guys. So recently, within the last week, the uh, United States District Judge Amit P. Mehta mm -hmm. has ruled the FDA's decision to regulate premium cigars was arbitrary and capricious mm -hmm. in violation of the Administrative Procedures Act. Wow. He slapped them down. Wow. And basically put them down for what they were doing, ignoring their own data and trying to say that there were health risks in cigar smoking. Hmm. We all know that as a cigar smoker, you're not inhaling it into your lungs. You're yeah. puffing it, you're holding it in your mouth, and that is different than pulling it into your lungs and taking that. Yeah. And yeah, even, the, even the FDA, so, so what he's talking about, about yeah. even the FDA says that one to two cigars a day, a day, okay. has next to nil effect on your health. So this is what this judge is talking. You guys need to keep this guy in mind. And if you're praying, person, pray for this guy because he's got some wisdom 
and he and he's slapping down the FDA, which affect, like Stephen said, it affects us all. Right. So, with that, stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back after a little message here. All right. All right. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we're still going to be in some news. Uh, we're not done with it yet. Uh, We've got some interesting, interesting news. Uh, some some cig new cigar lines that are coming out. Yeah. What you got there, Stephen? I got from Lagoria Cubana launches the new uh, Siri S line. Hmm. So for those of you who like the bigger ring gauges, they've got three new ones coming out: a Robusto Gordo, a Gigante, and a Presidente. Wow. So hmm. and again, bigger ring gauges, 56 to 60. This line will debut a new full-time collection next month, named Series S. Uh, Steve Abbott, director of marketing at uh, LGC, said the Series S combines a long ring formats, expert blending, and fine craftsmanship in a full to full bodied smoke. We believe this new collection will be well received and in addition to their brand portfolio. And again, La Gloria has been making some great oh, yeah. cigars for a long that time. That was one of the cigars that I started off uh, learning. You know, loving to, to branch out a little bit was uh, La, Glo La Gloria, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're talking about a Nicaraguan blind, uh, binder and a blend of Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers. Mm. And uh, delivers uh, leather and light spice notes. Mm. So look for that at your retailers. Yeah. And cigars that are under $9. Yeah. Price point, they're saying anywhere from 8 to $9. So wow. For definitely cigars that one. size? Wow. Sounds great. All right, and uh, other news here, uh, we've got Ace Prime. You guys uh, uh, know them. They're connected with uh, Crown Heads, Luciano. Okay, they've announced a brand new regular production line for the PCA trade show that's uh, coming up. Uh, sh actually, as we shoot right now, like we said, PCA is going on now. The cigar is named after Ace Prime's partner, an award-winning winery located in Pirat, Spain. Mas Ignat Ig Ignatius. I'm gonna. I'm butchering this. I know, is a Catalan expression that can be translated as "house of ignition." Interesting. The goal of this particular blend was a balanced pH, medium full taste profile, and to retain the traditional signature of its blender, Luciano. I'm just gonna call him Luciano because I don't want to. I hate people mispronouncing last names. But strength without aggression. I've learned so many things from Luciano, so this one really intrigues me to get this. The Fiat Lux is a fantastic cigar uh, to, to learn things about how tobaccos work with you, your body, the pH levels, and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's the fantastic. Science the man brings to a cigar is astounding. Yes, it, it, it is. And uh, one, of the, one of the other pieces in the news, uh, it, it just... Uh, uh, one of the cigars you guys know I love, CAO, uh, Brasilia, uh, just the other, the uh, Pilon main blender, Rick Rodriguez, yes. yep. retired. We know, yeah, right. Ten days is not a retirement, Rick. It's a vacation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well deserved. So they said that uh, he confirmed a story on his social media pages published by Cigar Aficionado that he is returning to the cigar industry. Imagine that. Rodriguez, the former CAO blender and brand ambassador, you saw this guy everywhere. He was, he was I wish I'd, I never got the chance to meet him. I hope I do someday. We'll be teaming up with Gus Martinez, also formerly of General Cigar Company, to launch West Tampa mm -hmm. Tobacco Company. So in the upcoming weeks, the company is going to market with two blends, black and white. West Tampa Tobacco's white series will consist of an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and binder over all Nicaraguan tobaccos. I like that. Nice. Black Series is the stronger of the two and consists of an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and Omotepe and fillers from Nicaragua, including Condega and Ligero from Esteli. Wow. Mm. Sounds very nice. Both nice. lines will launch in three sizes, Robusto, $8.99, Toro, $9.99, and Gigante, uh, Gigante $6.60, $10.99. Very reasonably priced at all. Both will be represented in 20 count boxes. Production comes from Garmindia Cigar Company factory in Nicaragua. Both cigars are expected to be showcased in the PCA going on right now, which I know he's there. I saw him on, on the Instagram and things like that, setting up his booth. So some fantastic news. Uh, if you guys have any news that we need to know about, 
send it in to us. We'd be glad to include it on the next uh, Texas Cigar Roadshow Pit Stop News section. Until then, enjoy the next word of the day. <laughs>